For this project we're going to be using the bottoms of the cans with this rounded bit. So the first step is to cut all of the cans um, slightly above halfway. So you just stick your scissors in. Okay, and what we want is this part of the can with the rounded bottom. This part we'll put aside to use for something else. So we're going to all right, so now we have these. Uh, put the smaller one aside because that's going to be the centre of the uh, centre of the flower, and you're going to use, do the same thing to all three of these. And that is, you're going to divide them into four. So you're going to cut down there. We want to make it roughly equal, so go opposite where your cut was before. Opposite again, and then opposite. Again, do that for all four of them. All right, so what we're going to do is, let's put those aside for a minute. Um, we want the base of the petal to be narrower than the top. So get your scissors in. We want to cut a V, whoops, whoops a daisy, like that on that side of the petal, and a V down like that. Cut that little V off. Put it as far down as you possibly can. And then that is what you're going for. So you need to do that with all four of the petals. All right, so this is what your can should now look like. Let's bend these out a bit. And you can see they're starting to look a bit petally. Now this flower has rounded petals. So you're simply going to get rid of any sharp corners and make it a nice rounded shape on all four of these petals. Now once you've completed this flower you're going to give the other two cans at the same size, the ones that you've already cut into four parts, you're going to give them exactly the same treatment so what you want is three flowers that look like this. Right, so here's our three lots of petals. They're going to make your flower. You're just going to pile them up on top of each other and overlay them like that so you have a nice little, so you can see there's lots and lots of petals. Now the middle um, is going to be this smaller can, so let's put that aside for a minute. I'm going to cut this down a little bit shorter, maybe And then this is going to be the centre. We're just going to cut a fringe. I think that might even be too long again. So however long you feel, you can always adjust it after you've cut the centre. Um, I'm going to open it out that way and cut it actually. Because you're going to, and enemies have really open centres, that's going to be out like that. So continue cutting all the way around there. All right, so once you've cut your fringe, open that out, and you can see where that is going to fit. Does not want to sit in there nicely. Um, that's going to sit in the middle. So now all we need to do is paint it. So the middle is going to be black, and then I'm going to do a two-tone effect on the petals. So I'm going to paint them all white, and then I'm going to put a colour on the tips of the leaves. So I have a, a white ring underneath this black fringy centre. All right, so I've sprayed these outside in a box and I'm just gonna spray this center. I'm gonna leave that dry. Obviously, we're in a well-ventilated space on this shed, so leave that to dry now. Just gonna paint the tips of my petals I'm using purple today. I'm using a little piece of paper to mask out the white, which I want to keep. I'm going to do this with all three of these. All right, so I have my painted uh, flowers petals and now I need to do is layer them up so 
There you go. And then that black bit will go in the middle. Happy with that. Now, to join it all together, you could glue them, but I'm going to put them outside so I want to join them with wire. So let me put them on a piece of wood. And I'm going to drill two holes here and then thread a piece of wire through. Now, um, if you don't have a drill, you could use a hammer and nails and bang, separate them out, put two net, bang your nail through and make two holes that way. I'm just use, going to use a power drill. So. Like so. Cut a piece of wire. And it's just a case of threading it through to the other side. Pull it out the back like that. Push the other one through so you get a kind of stitch. There you go. And then twist that round tightly to hold everything together. And then I'm going to just get a little bit of black paint and touch that the wire up and the little bit where the drill has gone through. And then that will be um, my anemone finished. Right, so I finished this um, anemone. I think it looks nice. I've also tried to do it in a few different colours. So I've got a red one here. And then I tried a pink one as well. They all look quite nice. Happy with those. I'm going to give them a coat of exterior varnish and put them outside of my garden fence. Now I did make one out of food cans. So these were made with drinks cans, as you know. So I'll put them up there a minute. Um, but I made this one out of food cans. I think it was actually dog food cans. Um, you can see the ridged bit there and then just so it's three um, food cans and then this one in the middle is a drink can to make that nice fringe exactly the same it's a little bit bigger um, in comparison a little bit sturdier looking will hold its shape a bit better but in exactly the same way so obviously if you're going to do this one you're going to need tin snips so my tin snips there you go and um, you will need to drill the holes through this because you won't be it's unlikely you can pierce it through the nail be a bit trickier that's that one.